Hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars 2020 review, and this one is on the you know, Obi-Wan's hut. So on the front of the box here, you see the border that we've seen since early 2019, and also Disney LEGO Joking Hazard, picture of the set that there is, and minifig selection, and recommended ages is 7 and up, set number yeah, that number is 75270, has 200 pieces. And on the back, see, see how it can open up and all the features of it. And on to the booklet, which same picture is on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Uh, for the uh, Skywalker Saga game and uh, for Lego Life and the last step. So now, first of all, for the new fixes, what gets the set its name is Old Obi Wan Kenobi. which has been in a few sets for quite some time, like also in the Death Star Cannon set from last year. But hairpiece, same as it's been since 1999, and do have some slight torso print, but not at all any uh, double-sided face. And lightsaber, also relevant. But, well, actually, I think this, well, I think this might be a new one, but if it's a new one, then tell in the comments. And next of all is this Luke Skywalker, original trilogy version. Uh, same binocular-ish kind of piece. And also, although this is kind of the same one that comes in the Luke's Landspear set from this current wave, but without the poncho thing. And if I were Lego, I would put to have this Luke have the poncho and not have the Landspeeder or the in the wave and let that be a whole different set but uh, well for all those beggars can be choosers I do have some slight back printing as well as enough a unique double side face which has been the same for a little while and, and next is the updated Tuscan Raider well Headpiece seems it's been since 2015, and also the Yappy Stick build, also quite the same. But although the torso and leg print, which same kind that comes in the uh, Bantha's T16 Skyhopper Microfighter set, but although that is a kind of a cheaper alternative to get this one, but if you're not into the Microfighters, then this is a good opportunity to get this one. And there's his back printing, also all right. And lastly is R2-D2, who actually comes in many sets. Oh. And, well, prints of which seems it's been for a while. And now to the main part of it is the hut itself, which for the outside build is quite all right, quite goodly. Some, some kind of jagged slopes you use there, and from the back area, see which does have a like pot stick or pot sticking out with a couple of uh, green studs in it. Uh, not sure what for. And, also, it does have that cornered kind of piece and a couple of uh, cylinders acting as a chimney pipe. And same with this, like, cone and greeble up top, also acting as, it's like, venting. And from this side, which does have this little crate that has nothing in it. And just rests on a jumper. Okay. Also, to notice that this tile here, I think it might be new. 
or actually it is anyway. Also, to access it, this that open is lift the dome up, and then this whole area that opens up. Like this, oh, you know, like has a, like roller skate piece, but probably acting as like a model ship or something. And kind of oddly, is a skeleton leg there. Not sure what for, but you have this like clear rod, and it goes to connects to a minifig head that acts as the training droid that Luke is trying to train with a lightsaber on. And then the other side of which has a little crate that does have the collectible minifig display stand on it. And, oh, and in it is extra blue lightsaber that you can use with both Luke and Obi-Wan. And also store the train droid head in it. And it rests on a jumper there as well. Okay. In this other section, there's a seat and a table that has a carton of blue milk. And then also another uh, a Tuscan Raider Jack Gaffy stick, of course. And a miniature flame piece that is coming from the the, like little stove over there, but what I don't understand is like why is it like pointing at the chair so much? Because it might get burnt from it. And also, of course, where you'd put R2 D or just stick them on to here, and he's just projecting the hologram of Princess Leia. Which first time ever getting this piece? Um, let me get you a good view of this piece. Well, although it is, does work almost like the like piece used for the hologram of Emperor Palpatine that came in a, one of the Star Destroyer sets in 2014 or so. Yeah. It was 2014, but modified slightly for Princess Leia, like with the buns and whatnot. And of course, in this area, can sit both Luke and Obi Wan on it. And then yeah. and we close that. And let's move on to the verdict. Final verdict on this. Well, overall, a uh, pretty good set for its price and everything. Also, first time of getting Obi Wan's hut as a set. Although, a couple of times before, I did get uh, Last Jedi Luke's hut and Yoda's hut before, but never seen Obi Wan's hut before. But this kind of gives a little hope for. Uh, Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru's hut to, or place as well or or what people have often asked for for a long time is some Yavin 4 sets like who, if who knows if they'd ever do that and if anyone from Lego sees this video I hope they get on top of that and release that in the next couple of years or next year or so and if you're making a, a Tatooine display, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to continue your collection for the original trilogy, also go ahead and pick this up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.